Hello scrapbookers, this is Megan and I have a fun little sketch layout for you today. So if you didn't already know, Christy is one of my really good scrappy friends and she is doing a challenge on her YouTube channel this month, 30 Days of Sketches. And she has asked a few of her friends to kind of join in with her. So today I am going to be using the same sketch as her to create a layout. So you can see here that I have already cut down the photos and I think they are just under three by three. Here I'm cutting them down just a little bit more. I was going to try to stick to the four rows that the sketch calls for, but in the end I am going to change it up because doing four rows just doesn't work with how big I have my photos. I could have cut down the photos a little bit more to do two by two, but I really didn't want to do that because the two bottom photos actually take up like the scene takes up more than a two by two and I really didn't want to have to cut any of that off. So as you can see these are baseball photos and I am using I think a couple different collections. That background paper is pretty old. I think it's from 2015 and I'm pretty sure it's a pink fresh studio paper. I think that's who it was. It's the, either their first or second collection, I can't remember, but I do remember loving this paper and I still had some in my stash, so I thought it would be the perfect background for this baseball layout. And then I also used that polka dot paper. That is from the Amy Tangerine, I think that's Better Together. And I really, really just love the the dark blue navy that's on that polka dot paper. So here I'm just going to glue down this this little piece of pattern paper and you can see that I matted each of the photos on just a plain white cardstock just to kind of help them stand off of the page a little bit more against that background paper. So you can see that I'm still really trying to make the four columns work, or the four rows. And here I'm going to cut up this really pretty green paper. This one is again from that same collection. I think it's better together. If I'm wrong, please somebody correct me, but I'm pretty sure it's better together. I really, really love that XOXO paper, but for this layout, it didn't really work. I I wanted to be able to embellish easily on those extra squares that weren't going to be photos without having to worry about the pattern being too busy. Here you can see that I cut down a branding strip and I just ended up cutting it in half. My idea was the sketch calls for stitching or something that goes along both sides of that that piece of paper that's on the background and I thought that this this green, what is that, plaid? I think it's a plaid pattern. I thought that that was really pretty and it, it matched pretty well with the blue and the green that's already on the layout. So instead of doing stitching, I am just going to place down these two pieces of that branding strip and that works out so well. I really, really love that. So now here you can see I am pulling out some of these Pink Fresh Studio acetate pieces and these are from that same collection that the background came from. And I thought that it would be cool to add these to this little uh, cardstock paper there because the sketch calls for it. And so I was like, yeah, let's do triangles. I am a lover of triangles. I love them. But I wasn't really liking the patterns that were on the acetate pieces. So I knew that I had the My Mind's Eye On Trend 2 collection and they had some gold and then uh, I think it was pink and kind of like a minty green triangles. So here you can see I'm looking through this little container that holds embellishments and I found them. And so I'm going to try them out together but I didn't really like the way that looks. So I am actually going to end up using these two triangles together that you see on there now. 
And then I pull out a few other pieces. I believe those two up at the top from, let's see, a Fancy Pants collection. I can't remember which one, but I think it was Fancy Pants. And here you can see I'm just going through all of these labels and ephemera and things that I have in this container. I really need to go through and organize all of these embellishments. These ones are just random embellish uh, embellishments from a bunch of different collections. I think that's pretty much all the embellishing I am doing. You can see down in that bottom cluster that I do have a little heart piece and that is from my mind's eye on trend two as well and then I have two little banner or not banners but labels and I really really like how those just worked out down there in that bottom cluster now I am going to start let's see I don't remember what exactly I do right now <laughs> so let's see. I'm fussing with the photos and the placement, trying to make that perfect. This word dream just wasn't going to work out, so I decided to pull it off. And then I'm going to pull out this alpha. And this one is from Amy Tangerine. I'm not sure what collection it was from, but it's called Muse. M-U-S-E. And I really, really, really loved the font and the color. The white just totally stood out from the rest of the layout. And I really loved that. Okay, so you can see I am pulling out my title. So it's going to say Swing, Run, Plop. Now I have a funny story to tell you about these photos. So you can see up at that that very top photo on the right, that is Brennan, who is my middle son. And he is he loves to play baseball. He's in a little league baseball team. And he he's okay. He's not the best hitter. He used to be amazing. And then we skipped a year of baseball and he started again last spring and then this was his second year this spring doing little league and he just he lost his game he used to be amazing but missing a year was just not good for him anyway so in that top photo he is getting ready to hit the ball in that middle photo he is running to first place and then in that bottom left hand photo he is running toward home base and then the funny part happens. So he, um, they practice sliding into bases at practice. And Brennan is very nervous about it. He never talks about it or says anything, but his coach kind of hints at, you know, he needs to practice sliding a little bit more. So this one time, the ball was really close, so everybody was like, slide, slide. So he's like, okay, I'm going to slide. So you can kind of see in that photo on the bottom left that he's kind of getting ready to slide. And then he like, I don't know what he does, but he, in that far right photo on the bottom, he just totally, instead of slides, sliding, he totally just plops down on the base. And it was just kind of like, what? Like me and the other parents on our team were just kind of like, what just happened? And then we all just started busted out laughing. It was so hilarious. So I thought it would be kind of a fun, fun little title to call it Swing, Run, Plop. And I am going to just tell that story in my journaling. So here you can see I'm going through my washi tape and of course the one that I was thinking of was on the very bottom of my container that I hold my washi in. So I am going to just put this yellow strip of washi tape up there. I really love how that looks. This layout was super simple. I just wanted to just have fun and keep it simple. And I am a pretty simple scrapper, but even for me, this is really, really simple. And I've found lately that I really like the simple look. I love embellishing and I love mixed media and all of that. But lately I've found I do very minimal embellishing and I'm kind of liking it. Now you can see that I am pulling out some Spiegel Mom scrap sequins. 
and I am going to use two different packages here. This first one is called Amy's Sprinkles, and that one I'm just going to pull out a few of the yellow sequins, and then the second one I believe it's called Sparkle Power. I do end up showing you uh, the packages towards the end of the video, so keep your eyes peeled, but I'm pretty sure it's called Sparkle Power. I really just liked the the blue tone of those sequins and it's very clear like it's blue but it's clear at the same time I don't know how that works but it it did anyway I am going to just put these in uh, each of the clusters and that is pretty much it for my layout I will leave a link down below to Christie's video and I hope that you really enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun with this sketch. And I am just, yeah, it was fun. Also, stay tuned till later in the month. I will be creating a sketch for Christy for her to use. And I will also be using the sketch as well. And that is going to take place on September 29th. So, make sure that you come back and watch that video. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great scrappy weekend. Bye.